Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, LMG here, and welcome to our Fallout 76 pros and cons video. Before we do get started, I do want to mention, Green Man Game has a sale going on. 12% off right now, currently I do have my link for Green Man Gaming below in the video description. Not a bad deal. Also, I think that's on 12% on Tricentennial Edition, I think Power Armor Edition has been sold out for a while. I'll probably do an unboxing video of that. We do have the Power Armor Edition coming in uh, next Wednesday. Yeah, this does come out. On the 14th, I'll be streaming that late evening, but we do have a charity marathon planned during the weekend. We're doing 24 hours. Uh, servers up, hopefully, for that. But actually, server stability has been one of the weirdest, it's going to be one of the least things I'm worried about. Because so far, server stability, uh, one day they actually did uh, deliberately crash it, which I was kind of a little PO'd about, because they, they left it in like the main menu, they said that. But nowhere on Twitter, nowhere any of social media, no, nowhere did they address that before. Like, oh, hi, surprise. I know these things happen, but a little warning would have been nice. But all right, let's get started. Pros and cons, we're doing a little bit of our footage here. First thing, let's talk about the the beta notes they were addressing some feedback, which is they had a note kind of passive-aggressive a little bit. It's a little bit passive-aggressive, you know, it's, but we'll get into this. All right, first up. Ultra wide support. I know a lot of people complain about this. It is 2018. How these things are happening, I have no idea still. But this is uh, Bethesda we are talking about, so it does happen. Yeah, no ultra wide support. They do plan to support that post launch, though, so they are going to get it in there. Why? Well, this game does need a little more time in the oven, but I, I do believe we're going to get there. Yeah. So they're going to get 20 to 19 support. So that's one thing to look about. Next thing we'll also talk about field of view and depth of field. Which is stuff you can actually fiddle with in, in your any file. I don't know how often we're going to have to fiddle with that though. Because when the game updates, I don't know if I have to redo that. Uh, but yeah, because they said they don't, they've never supported uh, field of view sliders. I don't... Because it breaks their animations. I don't... I don't think that's that hard, Bethesda, but that's understandable. That is stuff, if you're on the PC version, you can fiddle with. Uh, consoles, uh, you're going to be stuck with what you got, but uh, you're kind of used to that. But also, let's talk a big, big thing about exploits. There are many. There's been like, a lot of videos you'll see out there. Uh, cheats. It's, this engine was not designed with an anti-cheat system. Now they do it, they address there's a lot of exploits they of course they're aware of. And they're gonna be working on that. I don't have any details. We'll have to see come launch day. But so far there's no anti-cheat system enabled. So I never ran across that personally. I played about 30 hours of the beta. I only missed two hours on a uh, Tuesday earlier this week. I think it was a Tuesday or Wednesday. It was a Wednesday. Because it was like 2 in the afternoon. It was a little weird time. Like for 2 hours. I did miss that. But I did play on both PC and Xbox as well. Also with the social uh, menu. I also want to talk about. I had a lot of trouble inviting people or joining sometimes as well. This was kind of an issue. Hopefully I think they did say they would address this to get it working. Because sometimes I had friends on. I couldn't join them. Like no matter what I did. Yeah it was just a little... Little things like that. And sometimes I didn't register online. Uh, specifically on Xbox. Uh, like I missed out a bunch of playtime with my friends because they couldn't see them or I, I couldn't see them. It was either way sometimes. Right, so let's talk a little bit about uh, my adventure so far in Fallout 76. Overall, mostly good. And let's uh, talk about, before we get into that, let's talk a little bit about performance issues. I've seen a couple of videos with some of the bigger YouTubers uh, complaining about how it runs. Because, you know, they got these... I've got a pretty beefy PC, too, as well. Yeah, we do have the latest i7. They are sure coming out with i9s now. Probably next time we upgrade, we'll get that. Uh, overclock 1080. I have not had an issue uh, running frame rate wise uh, Even recording and streaming at the same time. I have had run into no problems with frame rate, etc. Also brings us back to our earlier exploits with the speed hacking. Because if you fiddle with your frame rate, you can actually go faster in the game. Uh, they are aware of these issues. Hopefully, I'm not 100% thinking they're going to get it fixed. It's tough to say. 
But with no anti-cheat system, that's a little dangerous. But I don't think it's going to be a major thing in this community. I don't think so. Pretty sure far, everyone I've run into has been okay. I, I've hunted down and killed people for bounties. Bounty system, uh, not very great. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd go shoot somebody. Hey, 50 caps. Maybe I'll get some of their junk. There's really no PvP incentive. Unless you're gonna be a dick. Even mutual PvP. And something is also another kind of con. If you're used to the original Fallout games, it's really hard to... to if you, you, you want to pop up your pit boy, you want to go look at something. Every time I do that, I swear to God, I'm getting attacked. Like, never fails. Every time I do that. It's like, oh, come on, 10 seconds game. And the respawn rates are really good in some areas. I do apologize if I'm jumping around a little bit, but just kind of thoughts that come to mind as I'm watching this as well. Sometimes the respawn rates are really, really fast in some areas. And in some areas, really, really... Uh, bring into the Flatwood area. Where you actually can see, well, there's always a lot of people because that's kind of where the initial quest leads you, as I've seen in the beta. Uh, where, where it's leading you to Flatwood. As if there's some, some Brahmin out there, you have to actually kill a Brahmin and stuff. I actually had to wait a while for one of my friends because they had to get a Brahmin. And there was no Brahmin because they, everybody had killed them all. And it was kind of a long respawn time as well. So I think there is a lot of balancing that needs in this game still. I feel like this is really, and it's kind of sad to say, this is an early access game. There's no denying that, I think. Uh, it's got good uh, good ideas. I think the gameplay is also very good. Uh, that's another plus for me. I like the gunplay, everything else. Been a good time. I've actually had a generally good time in this. And there's also been times I wanted to pull my effing hair out. There's been... I, I've had a texture issue where there was actually, uh, I want to say the Gully Mine, perhaps, if I'm remembering that place right. A lot of locations in the game. The map is four times the size of Fallout 4. Uh, the Gully Mine. I could not, because there was a texture issue, I couldn't see the mine there. The mine entrance, there was a door. Couldn't see it. Uh, my friends were able to go in it. They're saying, like, go in the store, etc. And occasionally, also this is a weird bug that I, fig I, I found. Occasionally, you would take damage for, like, no reason. Like, there was nobody shooting at me. That's happened multiple times. Let's talk about the VAT system a little bit. VAT is really crap close range in this game. I do have... Uh, my main character build is mostly in perception. Actually, that does work well in PvP, too, if you're uh, kind of far, far away. But up front, unless you're using melee with a little bit of... Uh, VAT, yeah, it's... Basically worthless. Not like in the usual Fallout game, if you could do that up close, it'd be fine. You'd have all the time in the world. Yeah. For the swarming ghouls, it is a bad time. Go away. Get out of here. Nobody wants you here. Which brings me down to another complaint. I really, because they were kind of like passive aggressive in the notes. Uh, I'll even talk about this to address in the feedback. We've seen this one come up a lot and understand the frustration. While stash size at 400 weight limit can get easier to deal with over time. That is 100% bullshit. <laughs> I will tell you, after playing about 30, 30, you know, ish hours, that's bullshit because there's so much stuff to get in this game. Even if I scra continually scrap and break down, uh, you want to get to some of that later stuff, it does pile up. You don't want to see the weight of a T60 armor set at level 40. Because yeah, I had to take off the armor pieces to just actually get the frame. Because I wasn't high enough level, of course. This game does kind of a little bit like almost Destiny. Uh, in those other kind of progression games. You will get a lot, of, a lot of weapons and items that are far above your level. So you kind of got to hold on to them. Which adds to the space as well. And you will find yourself constantly scrapping. Just to kind of keep that weight down. Uh, the junk wrap perk, it does help a little bit. And there are other various perks for weapon ammo, etc. But then you're not putting perks in your combat and your other stuff. So it's it's kind of a, just a, sometimes not a win-win situation. But that T60 power armor, uh, that wasn't even all the pieces. Weighed about 70 pounds. I think it was just the helmet and, a, and two other pieces 
I weighed about 70 pounds. So that is a fourth of that. What if I want to get a whole bunch of power armor? Not going to happen in that stash size, buddy. It almost makes me wonder, because in ESO, uh, they do have a uh, double size for your uh, membership. Uh, your online uh, ESO Plus membership. And also all your items in the crafting bag, etc. Kind of makes me wonder if they would try to pull something like that as well. Because I'm almost be tempted to pay for more space. I hate to tell you that. Uh, 400, I, that's not enough. The thing about increasing in the future, I hope so. This is going to get really kind of frustrating later game. Uh, basically, going to start throwing stuff away as well. Because you just cannot. Also, I cannot shoot with the damn, apparently. That's okay. It's okay. They did fix an issue with the hunger. Because apparently that wasn't working for a while. Uh... Hunger, and I will actually say this game is not a survival game. It is light survival at best. Because around level 5, 10-ish, you basically, you start getting enough food and everything, you never really have to worry. It's more about getting those buffs and everything. But I have not come across the time. And every while I'm kind of a little bit annoyed, I have to stop and feed and water, you know. But other than that, it's, you can almost forget about it. It's, it becomes unimportant. At a later point. So that's really not much of an issue. That's fine. I like. I don't mind that. It does add a little bit to the game as well. But the gunplay does feel good. The gameplay is fun. Especially with your friends. This game is playable solo as well. Uh, I know I have a lot, I've heard a lot of complaints about people. It's too hard to do it solo. Not really. I think it adds a little bit to the fun. Will you be able to take down a level 50 Scorch Beast? Eventually, probably. Uh, me and a couple of my friends. Uh, we, yeah, we had a group of four. I was the highest level. I think it was a little lower. I think I was around 18 or so. I took a couple shots at the Scorch Beast. Yeah, I didn't do anything to him, but man, did he do stuff to us. It was a bad time. Also, another thing I do want to... We'll get another... We'll do a pro, and then we'll do a complaint. Uh, one thing I do want to complain about... Workshops. And defending workshops. And also these events in general. Because you usually get waves of enemies. The AI in this game is complete garbage. Like, it's actually worse. And like, Fallout 4, they were at least semi-decent. They were on ball at least most of the time. I have had uh, defenses I had to wait forever. Because an enemy had one around going some other place. Like, I had to go track it down eventually. I found it. I also had another uh, Bloodwing. He was in the cement. It took us a good while to manage to actually melee to get in to attack him. A uh, huge pain in the ass. And the defense for the workshops does take... It does happen quite a bit. And the wards are kind of lackluster. As I've seen the rewards in this, mostly uh, for these rewards, unless it's the main storyline, I end up spending more in bullets and supplies, etc. than I usually get. <laughs> so it's a little bit... There's not like a huge incentive to do some of that stuff there. Though the workshop are nice. I really didn't deal with any PvP at the at the moment for that. Just mostly the defense. Because I think everyone's pretty much just trying to get out and explore as much as they can at the moment. So I easily held several workshops. And the resources you got were actually very nice. Especially... If you go out to that Mega Stop, uh, the Mega Red Rocket Truck Stop, there is a aluminum uh, deposit you can actually extract. So you get a whole ton of aluminum. Because that's one of the rare resources in this game. Uh, you know, the usual like Fallout 4. Uh, aluminum, uh, adhesive, etc. That's the stuff you really need to get. You really need to get. That's, you will always be getting that. Because I had a problem maintaining gear, really, because I just could not. I didn't spend a lot of time getting... And that's kind of the gameplay loop, you know. Oh, come on, Blood Dog. Get, no. But overall, I have, in my 30 hours, I've had a good time. Uh, the best way I can describe this game, though, is a hot mess. Uh, there are times that it's great. And then there are times I just want to just cry. It is just... It's good. But let's also talk about, now, a little bit about the story. Let's talk about the story. There is a uh, storyline you do follow. My problem, one thing you also find is, that's fun to play with friends, but if you try to do the story, 
It's going to take you further to get through it because everyone's going to wander off, etc. Yeah, the storyline goes about 40 hours. And we'll end up kind of bringing you to the end game of getting the nukes to defeat the Scorch Beast, etc. So that's a bit of fun. I actually do have one nuclear code uh, at the moment. And progression from the beta should, I hope, please. Let's hope. Let's really hope. I will be semi, semi angry if that happens. Uh, we'll carry over to the full game. Because that should be all on their client side, so we won't have to worry. So all of everything you did so far, gonna be good, gonna be good. I'm gonna be playing this on the stream quite a bit and doing videos as well. Bringing you all that sweet action. And I did find a vault. Uh, it's very interesting, the story. Yeah, st main storyline is about 40 hours or so. There's a lot of side stuff. A lot of stuff that's actually, there's a lot of things to do that aren't really quests as well. Uh, like Vault 94, I found. And, and you gotta find a key to go get in there, and it's just like this whole little mini thing. There's also other little mysteries and holotapes. Uh, I don't complain about the holotapes, though. They are long. And some of them are actually pretty good. Some of them are really good. I don't, I still don't understand the, I, I get what you're going through, Bethesda. But it doesn't make any logical sense. A lot. It doesn't add all. But I definitely think adding a couple NPCs would help immensely. I think, given popular opinion, I think this game actually does have potential to be a great game. The potential is there, Bethesda. But we need a little bit of work. A little bit of elbow grease. Yeah, I do feel like this is going to be a work in progress. Uh, but let's also talk about how long... Uh, is this gonna be keep your content keep you going? They said they're gonna be uh, supporting with plenty of new events. I have no, we have no evidence or you know, they can say that, but until they actually do it, kind of be a little leery of that. But I think generally, we're, I'm probably gonna have at least maybe 102 hours into this game before I run out of stuff to do, because I'm gonna hit every nook and cranny. I'm gonna be going everything over quite a bit, maybe do a couple builds. So I figure at least. Maybe 200 hours out of this. And for like 60 bucks, that's a pretty good deal. And then I'll probably get... Cause it's almost kind of like this is an MMO-ish as well. But, yeah, that's probably going to be wait and see until new content drops, etc. These events and stuff, they're kind of more distracting than anything. Because I'm like, I don't really want to do that right now. I want to go do something else. And sometimes reward is good. But after you've done this event one time, you really don't want to do it again. I've done two times, two or three times. I've done that event in Flatwood like eight times, and I hate it. I just kind of run through it. I just like I don't want to do this anymore. So I think at some point this probably will get a little grindy, uh, but there's tons of things to explore, tons of things to do. I also talk about one of the big issues I saved for kind of last here, because I have no idea why this is even an issue. I don't know why they thought this was a great thing. But push to talk. They are going to get push to talk in there for PC. Because I can tell you, you don't want that. You need push to talk in this day and age. I actually had a bug when I was on Xbox where I couldn't turn the mic off. I was streaming this, but I couldn't turn it off. Oh my god, people in the internet. There was a couple guys talking, right? It was out of the vault. Immersion kind of ruined a little bit. And plus, like, you have somebody yelling at their kid while this is going on. You have all kinds of things. Somebody playing music. It just, all kinds of just weird stuff. You know, it's just, I really didn't want to do that. See, that's actually not a bad reward for that. Welcome. Welcome. So push to talk. In a game like this is a must. You have to have that in there. So hopefully they say near future, it'll be sooner or later. Because, yeah, it's most, like I, most like everybody else, we just had our squad on Discord, and I completely turned off the in-game uh, speaking, because I would like to interact with people. Do I want to hear everyone all the time, because they won't turn their mic off, or they can't, or they don't, don't get it? I don't know, some little kid swearing at me. You know how that goes. Yeah, I, I don't want that, Bethesda. So push to talk. Yes, please. That would be nice. Uh, yeah, it's, it is lacking a lot of features, I would expect. Uh, and also, a big thing, if... Because you probably didn't watch all the whole video, your mind's already made up, then. If you're expecting Fallout 5 or The Elder Scrolls 6, this is not going to be it. This is not going to be it. 
Uh, it's not going to be the same experience. I think if you're just if you're made up your mind already about that, I would just wait. And you're going to be waiting a while. Because I think Starfield is where the majority of their focus on, it seems to me. Fallout 5 is probably going to be after 2023. It's going to be a while, so you might want to hunker down for a bit. It's only been three years, I believe, since Fallout 4, which, ah, it's already been three years. Yeah, time does go by quite a bit. So, yeah, is it for you or not? It's, it's debatable. Uh, for me, this is a yes. Plus, I can write it out of all my taxes, so that's okay on the business taxes. I, I've had a good time. I've had a good time. Uh, more enjoyable with friends, definitely. It is playable, so I have played it, uh, I've done it on solo as well. I've had a good time. Kind of more of a challenge as you go into the other area. You go into higher level areas. Uh, does need quite a bit of balancing. No anti-cheat system. But I haven't really grinded across any cheaters myself. I have seen the evidence of it. It's really... Even the cheat engine is pretty easy to do. Uh, if they'll have that fixed for launch. I doubt it. I doubt it. Stash size also needs... They need to fix that. That's ridiculous. I don't know if it's a server restraint or constraint or what. Or maybe they're trying to... Maybe a little microtransaction deal. Uh, we'll have to see. But I always felt like... Yeah, the Hunger Survival was very balanced. Uh, gameplay was go uh, good. Guns felt well. I already am over-encumbered again, as I probably. <laughs> yeah, I am encumbered a lot in this game. I need some more of the basic features. Yeah, and 21.9 support. Uh, more graphical options as well would be nice. Up uh, yeah, this is 2018 Bethesda. We do expect, and yeah, no, no, what's your three pretty? Not Red Dead 2 pretty, but we could do a little better. And some of the PC controls. And also, don't get me started on the hotkey options as well. Uh, yeah, the hotkeys don't always show up as well, so it's a little weird. It is a little weird. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we'll leave off here. Let me know what you think about Fallout 76. I hope this pro kind of video. Help you make up your mind. Check out and stay like Green Man Gaming if you want to save a little bit. Yeah, don't give AAA all your money. But yeah, for me, this is going to be a go. This is going to be a go. I'm going to play at least to end level. I'm going to bring you all the coverage. I'm going to explore all the map. I'm going to do all that for...